Hi, my name is Terry Lee from Sweet Pea Papers. This is video one in the series, and we're going to call it Dragonfly Flight, if I can say that. You try saying it ten times fast. <laughs> and the kid is by Janie B. And on Etsy, it's uh, Janie B. Journals. And of course, the links will all be in the text file below the video, and then probably go across the screen as you're watching this video. Okay, so let's take a look at the kit. It's very pretty. I'm, I'm thinking this is going to be our cover. Um, we're making, oh, by the way, we're making an envelope book, not an envelope stack. <laughs> Even though I know, you know that I'm going to add some little flips and stuff, but it is actually a book. So write that down. <laughs> we're making a book, but it's made out of envelopes. Anyway, so uh, we've got these uh, dragonflies and the paper is really quite pretty. And um, we have all these different versions of the dragonflies. So this will give us um, a lot of um, paper to work with that doesn't have a picture that's necessarily in one direction. Now this one is, but uh, that's all right. We can use this page in the center probably. Let's see what I got here. I, I went through here quickly, but yeah, let's put this printed page. We'll put it with the other printed page for a minute there. I thought I had two. Let's get that other printed page. We'll make that the cover and the center. And then we've got this one. I really like this one, this page with all the dragonflies on it. And so that's like this one's got some music on it. And then there's lots of um, ephemera as well. Lots of dragonflies. And then these are, um, if you were making a regular book, these would be the backing pages. So there's a couple colors of this. There's this cool, uh, really light colored uh, dragonfly paper. And the same with um, kind of the rose color. And then we start with the ephemera. It's got pockets and um, some words, dragonflies and garden. And it's got some dragonfly pictures, a writing card and um, uh, tickets and cards and tags. Let's see what else we have here some more cards and some pictures. I think there's another page of tags. Yes, here's another page of tags. This is one of those tags that when you cut it out, you, you cut it all out as one and then you fold it in half and then you've got a picture on both sides. This is a pretty cool picture. Little woods with like elves and a fairy and then dragonflies. These are some cards. Bigger than ATC cards, probably almost postcard size cards. We've got seed envelopes and a great big envelope. So that's that there. So there's lots of pages for us to work with. Now the demo for this book is from a tutorial I saw by Angela Kerr. Angela Kerr. I'm sorry if I mangled her name, which I probably did. And it's one of her series of um, exciting envelopes. And this is sort of the way she did it. I kind of cannibalized a little bit of it because I had started working on it. Um, just on a side note, this is the stack of envelopes I brought over here. Now, I'm not sure what we're going to use, um, if we're going to use the, the, the dyed one, the coffee dyed ones, um, or not. We could. Um, so anyway, this is the demo, and um, I don't know which number of those it is. And so it's got a flip out here. And right here, she turned the envelope inside out. 
um, but we're not going to do that. I figured out a way where we don't have to turn it inside out. And um, on the next page, this is an actual book made from envelopes. It's not um, like a stack. And then here's another that folds out, a CD that folds out, some coin envelopes. This is the center of the book. Then in here, there's going to be two pockets. We're going to put an envelope on each side. I'm not sure if she did that or not. And we're going to use one of our little uh, check-sized envelope booklets. Um, if you haven't seen me make one of these, um, check out the um, the series uh, One Digital Kit Two Ways, a collaboration with Lisa Fisher that that series of videos I show you how to make one there and I show you how to make one in several other ones I believe there's one in winter in Victoria and a couple other series that I've done so I, this one is already put together and I'm going to go ahead and use it but um, I probably will show you real quick how to make that and then um, there's an envelope that opens here and then there's the back of the book now I'm planning on adding a couple things and changing a couple things so we're gonna set that to the side but we're still gonna use it as a reference and we're gonna set all those to the side and we're going to make the book itself the book is easy easy peasy you just take one envelope and you slide the flap down inside the other envelope and now you'll notice I'm leaving these little these tabs on for right now I want to get everything glued together you're gonna want to make sure that you know how to slide it into where the two folds of the flaps are together but not too tight to fold okay and you want it even on both ends all right then you're going to glue this one this flap to this envelope now an easy way to do this is to do it while they're together the real way oh we don't want to do it that way though we want to uh, pull it apart and we're going to put glue across the pre-made, you know, glue on there, pre-applied. And then don't go over into this part. Just stay on the flap. And now you're going to um, slide it in here. You're going to have to be kind of quick. Oh, I put the glue out too far. I think I do that every time I do this. Okay. Get my dried baby wipe. That way there's no lint. Oh, yeah, this is going to be no pocket. Sorry about that. I just pulled it apart. And there's going to be paper on this. So, you know. I don't remember if we leave the pocket on this side or not. I think we, I don't think we do. So you've got your two envelopes put together. Now you're going to do the same thing with two more. Hi, Oz. Hi. <laughs> My dog is in here. His name is Oz, like the Wizard of Oz. Okay, so we're going to glue it again, and this time I'm not going to glue up here. I 
have to be careful. I put contact paper on this to make it look a little bit better. Um, but it's basically plastic and the acetone in the Fabrifix or Fabri-Tac, whichever one you're using, um, will melt it. Get that in there before the glue dries. Okay. Then we're going to going to go on pause while I double check on how to do it because you know it's easy but then when you try to do it then you get confused let me look at the demo again all right I don't know what I was thinking all right so you've got your two that you've put together so you're gonna close it up and you're gonna take one and you're gonna slide it inside behind because see that gives us our center all right, so we're going to pull this back out. All I can hear is my dog going. <laughs> Okay, so we're just going to glue that in there like that. Make sure that it's straight and you want to um, get a problem here. Houston, we have a problem. Everything is closing until I get to here. Something here is not quite copacetic here. Okay, that one folds like that. It's right here. Okay, then we're going to take we're going to take our fifth one. We're going to do the same thing as we did before. We're going to slide it in. Then I flatten it like this a little bit, and it makes almost like a gusset. Don't glue it, just kind of pre-fold it over, kind of hold it, and then kind of flatten it out. Okay, that way you don't glue it too tight. You don't want to glue it so tight that that it won't open and close. See, we've got one envelope that's a little crooked. And then we're just going to glue this flap around and that will make our spine. And like I said, you don't want to glue this so super tight that it can't open and close. I really don't know what the deal is with this right here. But see, we have a flat 
seam here. It almost looks like these are slid in too far together. Well, that's what happens when you slide them in too close together. I wonder if it's too late to pull it apart. Because all I need to do is loosen it. And that sounded like it came apart to me. Well, I'm going to have to take a look at it and see. Well, it looks like I made a mistake somewhere in my gluing, so that's what happens sometimes. Um, I'm going to take this apart. And I'm going to let the glue dry and I'm going to re-glue it and let's see if we can figure out where the problem is. I think That's not very pretty. It almost looks like Well, I'm going to put you on hold and I'm going to take a look at this and see. This is what happens sometimes you know if you don't slide them in just right then you end up with one envelope that doesn't want to close all the way all right so i'm gonna take a look at this and see what i did and then um we'll be back okay i'm back i fixed it um i ripped it all apart and i believe i put it back together a little different um i'm not completely sure but it works and um, in the original some of the pages um, the pockets are not used this side doesn't have a pocket even though it looks like it does and also I'm going to go through and snip snip these little parts off on the pocket pages um, on the other ones are they're just going to be covered with a, a regular uh, rectangular piece of paper and I want to be able to do that on this side and I want you guys to be able to as well I got glue I have glue all over me now okay and so um, 
Yeah, the first page is a double pocket. The next page is a single pocket. Maybe I did get it back together the right way. The next page is the center. Oh, I need to um I need to glue this again or better or something. Like I said, you can see there's some re residual glue left there, but it's going to be covered with paper, so it's okay that it shows. You know, it would be kind of cool to have a pocket there. No, let's go ahead and glue it for the integrity of the book. Like I said, I, I took it all apart and then redid it, and, and I think I put one page in differently. And I redid the uh, spine so that it will it would lay flat. I had one crooked envelope, I think, and that just threw the whole thing off, like one that had a, a wave in it. Um, this one did, and I kind of finagled it. You know, I kind of pushed it up and bent it down and did a couple things to get it to work. It's not exactly perfect, but... Um, what is right so then the next page is a double pocket and that's and then the back well it did work out the same um, and I did get a decent spine so we will aha it's backwards or no I can leave it this way because I'm going to cover it with paper it's just the spine flap on the other one is in the back and on mine it ended up in the front because I had to tuck some of them in differently even though the pages came out the same the back is now the front because I had to flip it over all right I keep giving you guys the thumbs up I'm just kind of happy that that it worked out okay so now let me show you on the demo the one that is the same as the um, the one that uh, Angela Kerr did. Um, I've decided I'm going to pronounce it Kerr. It's K-E-R-R -R, um, just because. So on the first page there's an envelope that flips out. There's an envelope here that is um, like this. Oops. That is like this and it flips out and then you see the picture and then it flips out like this all right and so you're gonna put a picture in there and you you're gonna do it while we have the uh, envelope deconstructed so you're gonna want to uh, pick out a picture for inside there and it's going to be easier I think to cut out the um, the circle for the paper I'm not sure we're gonna have to open it to paper it anyway so um, we're going to do this as two separate papers so we don't have to worry about making the crease with the bone folder all right so that's gonna go there I'm gonna slide it in this pocket so we can keep it where it's supposed to go then on the next page is another envelope that flips out a CD cover that we'll have to cut the hole for that that flips out these two little brown coin envelopes we're going to I discovered um, the ones I have the little the inside part where it opens goes all the way to the top so I'm gonna put a large thumb grab there to make it easy to um, take out whatever small items we put in there and I'll show you um, I think in one I'm going to put a uh, puzzle so those are going to go there but they're not going to be in the pocket they're going to be um, I believe this page is covered all the way and there's no pocket like I said when we go through and make ours um, we may do some things differently like leave in the pockets okay then the next page is the center and so we'll put papers in here and um, you know pockets and whatnot um, the difference in mine the second one and this one the demo you'll notice 
the center is closer together. So I, that's because I had to tear mine apart and redo it. I'm trying to unwrap my leg from the microphone cord. Somehow I'm wrapped up in the cord. <laughs> I'm all wrapped up in the tutorial. Um, and then uh, on the last page, there's going to be an envelope attached here. We're going to have the uh, trifold little booklet in here. There's going to be an envelope that flips out and then another one that flips out like this one on the opposite side. And then there's going to be the back, which is the front, but it will be the back. All right. Now, I'm definitely going to make some changes. This is just the one that's the way she laid it out in her tutorial. So that's what I'm calling the demo. Uh, so we can go back and refer to it uh, for the basic version that was the way that it was in the tutorial. And you'll notice that I just paper clip things in. Um, we may need to steal a couple things. Um, there's a um, couple of the business envelopes that are a little bit too long. This one we're not going to use the picture. Um, in another uh, tutorial that I did, and um, I'm not sure which one it was, I did use the double pocket. I made it look like a window with two window panes. So I just made um, holes around a big hole around, I believe, as close as I could get it. And then I inked in between and then I put a little piece of uh, paper across the bottom to make it look like a windowsill. So that's an idea for you if you want to have um, additional um, pictures. It was one that was a one of the Christmas ones, I believe. Um, I It wasn't winter in Victoria, it was a different one. All right, and we're going to add, um, you know, a couple extra flip outs, of course. And so, um, and I've got my stack of envelopes. Um, I actually have some coffee dyed, I have a coffee dyed CD paper. Um, and so I may not need to cover it. And I also have a, a couple of these coffee dyed um, invitation envelopes. So we may use those as part of the flip out things. We, we will have to cover this side here, um, the side with the opening, because um, it just doesn't quite work right with it as a pocket because it goes up so high. So we're going to cover it and then we'll make a side or a top pocket out of it if we decide to use these. And like I said, some of the business envelopes will have to cut down to the right size. You see they're too big right here, um, but we'll cut the tops off and then re-glue them. And these big windows, um, I'm pretty sure we're not going to use, but uh, I have run out of, oh, actually, maybe not. It looks like I have enough of these, so I don't think we'll use that one, but we're still going to have to cut these down and then glue the top or make it a top loading pocket for a long tag. So we may do that with one and then uh, not the other and make it a long uh, side pocket or a double pocket. So um, that's it for the overview, um, making the booklet itself or the book itself and um, the introduction to the kit that we're going to be using. So I will see you in the next video and that will be video two. And that will be just a second for you and a day for me. Bye-bye.